Number 103. Which of the following compounds, when dissolved in 0.01 molarity solution of HClO4, has a solubility greater than in pure water? And then they give us five choices, right? AGBr, BAF2, CA3, PO4, 2, ZNS, and PBI2. Which one of these, or many of these, which one will have a greater solubility in HClO4 than in pure water? Well, the first thing is, is that we just have to identify what compound HClO4 is. And we've seen this one before. It's on my list of strong acids. It's right here. HClO4. So HClO4 has to be a strong acid. Now, in order for the solubility to be greater here, we have to have what type of reaction? Well, it's got to be a acid base reaction, right? We've seen those from time and time again. So that means that out of these five, you're looking for a basic salt. And remember, a salt is just a fancy way for saying an ionic compound. So all five of these have positives and negatives. We just have to find out which one of these is the basic one. So let's just write all five of these out. We got AGBR, we have BA, F2, we have CA3, PO4, 2, we have ZNS, and then we'll put PBI2 down here. Now remember, all of these are going to dissolve, right, to give the positive and the negative, the cation and the, the anion. And for any ionic compound, you'll always have two parts, right? A positive and a negative. So all five of these are going to break down into their positives and the negatives. Okay, so let's just draw arrows for those. And maybe I'll pull this one up a little bit. Okay, beautiful. Now remember, the cation, the positive, is always the metal in the front. So, or polyatomic, but not in this case, right? We have Ag, that's silver, we got barium, we got calcium, we have zinc, and we have lead. So let's just write those out. Now in this case, we do not care, or I don't care, that you get the right charge. I'm just gonna put the correct charges here, but the main thing is that, you know, as a whole, we just have to find the basic salt. But Ag is a plus one in this um, compound. Barium is in group two on the periodic table, so it's always a plus two. Same thing with calcium, it's in the group two, so plus two. Zinc, is always a plus two, and PB, in this case, is a plus two. Okay, now let's just write out our anions or our negative ones. Those are always gonna be in the back. So, bromine, fluorine, we have phosphate, the polyatomic phosphate, we have sulfur, and we have iodine. So let's just write those out. This is all kind of like a review. So I got bromine, that's a negative one charge, fluorine, that's a negative one. Phosphate, PO4, and phosphate is always a three minus. And by the way, I don't care that we have two fluorines or two phosphates, that's not the point of this question. Just to you know, identify the negative ion. So we have S2 minus, and then we have I minus one. Okay, now remember, what makes a basic salt? If you're looking for something that's basic, you're looking for a negative charge, right? Positives are for acids, um, negatives for bases. So in this case, we don't care about any of the positives. That's not gonna give us the, the basic ionic compound or the basic salt. But now we just gotta figure out, out of all of these anions, the negative guys, which one is basic? Well, that comes from remembering our strong acids. Conjugates of strong acids are so, so, so weak that they are deemed neutral, not basic. So if you can spot out that you have an ion from a strong acid, that anion or the conjugate base is so weak that it's classified as neutral. So I'll just say con base, conjugate base is neutral. It is not basic. So for example, I'm looking for bromine. Do I see a BR on this list? 
Yes, I do. It's with HBR. So that means that the bromine just by itself is so weak that it's neutral. It is not basic. So bye bye to this one. AGBR does not have a solubility greater in HClO4. Let's go to the next one. We got F. Do I see fluorine in my list of strong acids? No. So that means that this would actually be basic, right? F comes from HF, which is a weak acid. Weak acids produce weak bases. So this is a big check. Do the same thing with this one, phosphate. Do I see phosphate in my strong acids? No. So this one makes the cut. So the compound Ca3PO42 makes it. S2 minus, do I see that on my strong acids? No. So there's my third compound. And then iodine, do I see iodine anywhere in my strong acids? Yeah, it's right here. So that means this one, oopsie, that's neutral, that's not basic. So that does not make the cut, so this gets an X. And now we have three answers, BAF2, CA3PO42 and ZNS, all of those would have a solubility greater if in that HCl4 than in water. And that's it. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you all have a great day. Keep studying hard and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.